Ever felt torn between a beach vacation and a golf vacation? I know, such tough lives we have. Well, with courses like this one at Lacana, you don't have to choose. You get the best of both worlds. Everyone from an avid golfer to someone just trying to fit in a few rounds on a family vacation, they all love this course. And I mean, come on, look at it. How could you not? Well, Lacana is a very special golf course. We have 27 holes, Hacienda, Tortuga, and Arrecife. We have three different rotations, so you can play three different scenarios every day. You play Tortuga Hacienda, Hacienda Recife, or Tortuga Arrecife. Uh, we have six holes in the ocean, and from 14 holes you can see, you know, playing from the golf course, you can see the ocean. Having the course positioned so close to the Caribbean allows the natural breeze to blow restlessly through the many palms on the course, as well as in the minds of the golfers. The course is planted with seashore paspalum, a new hybrid grass that can be irrigated with seawater and requires very low amounts of herbicides. This turf provides a very playable surface similar to Bermuda, but with more forgiving rough. In one of the most beautiful courses in Dominican Republic, you also get to meet a lot of, a lot of people, um, a lot of locals, but also a lot of visitors and tourists. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm Canadian myself. My, my, the side of my father comes from Prince Edward Island. So, I mean, I love it. With turquoise waters, winding and rolling fairways and hidden bunkers, a spin around PB Dye's La Canna is always memorable. We wrap our trip up at Barcelo Bavaro Beach and Resort. This five-star hotel is steps from the white sands of Bavaro Beach. It's a posh, adults-only all-inclusive, perfect for fun and relaxation. This spectacular spot features 11 restaurants, a casino, a golf course, and much more. While staying on the resort, you have full access to the first golf course ever built in the Bavaro and Punta Cana area over 20 years ago. The Lakes Barcelo Golf Course is situated perfectly in Punta Cana. It was recently redesigned by PB Dye in 2010. He drastically improved the molding, the bunkering, and the area surrounding the greens. The design cleverly makes the most of the natural beauty of the Bavaro area by incorporating native flora and fauna around the layout. Tightly lined by trees, I would suggest you keep your driver in the bag as much as possible. And the golf course is not very long either, so you won't be sacrificing too much yardage off the tee. Instead, pay attention to club selection when navigating your way around the course. Travelers often say compared to the other golf courses in Punta Cana, a round at the lakes is quite a deal. One hole that really stands out is number nine, a 160 yard par three. It features an elevated island green surrounded by water and sand bunkers. The tee shot can be nerve wracking thanks to swirling winds and the forced carry over the water, but the hole is fun to play and beautiful to see. I won't let you know if I hit the green or not. This course really is in the heart of the Bavaro area and is very easy to get to. The perfect trip to Dominican Republic is this. Golfing at one of these wonderful courses in the morning and then spending your afternoon doing one or all of the outdoor activities available. From paddle boarding to beach volleyball, to riding bikes on the island, or just laying in the sun while catching up on some much needed R&R.